Hello everyone, this is Harry from IRS Communication. In this video, I want to show you how you can install Windows 7 from an external DVD drive. As you see, this I have a LG external DVD drive, and I put Windows 7 CD inside the external drive, and I connect the external drive via USB cable to my netbook. This is SR. Aspire 1 I have Windows 8 and I want to install a new window in this via external CD drive so what I have to do first I have to put Windows 7 disk or Windows any window this could be Windows 8 Windows XP whatever you want just put inside and follow the instruction I have to restart my notebook in Windows 8 for restart here I have to go power and restart while it's restarting I have to click F2 in BIOS setup at the top menu bar this is the first one is information second was main security boot exit we have to go to boot and for select we can use the arrow button or arrow key I go to the boot as you see the first boot is USB CD-ROM in case if you don't have the USB CD-ROM as the first boot with F6 as you see F6 you can make up with the F5 you can make down so you have to put that USB CD-ROM as first boot so I put F6 to make it up if you want to install Windows 7 or Windows 8 from a flash drive, you will see here USB flash drive. If you connect with Windows here as this, so you have to put the USB flash drive as a first boot. Now I have to click F10 for make this change save. Now I have to click yes, that means I have to click enter, is selected at yes. And as you see, say press any key for continue. I will click enter for continue. And as you see, the Windows is loading file. That means the setup is began. And here, as you see, the window is coming to action. Okay, here I have three options in this windows. I have English, Spanish and Rom uh, Romanian. I click Spanish. The keyboard will be Spanish and the time zone and the currency format will be Spanish too. Put your language. If you have English, put English. If you have German, put German. It doesn't matter. The, the, all the thing will be the same, only the language will be different now I have to click next and the next next option will be install now I will click install now and now it's the setup is starting you have to wait a bit we we'll click install now and now it's the setup is starting. You have to wait a bit. And here is one agreement of Microsoft. I have to click here. I accept the license term and I have to click next. Here is two options upgrade and custom advance. Don't click at upgrade because it will upgrade your window. Better you have to click 
custom advance and in this PC I have three partition basically they are so I want to delete my windows and the first partition so everything will be new in that here is the one reserve partition is 350 that is normally for windows 8 so the first reserve partition I have to delete to select that one with the mouse uh, with the mouse pad you can select that one and with the drive option you will get few more option and I will delete the first partition now I have left two partition partition one partition two I will delete the first partition in this I have windows 8 but before doing this backup all your data and everything as you see I have one partition now and unlocated space I will click new but make a new partition it says as this to ensure that all windows fixture will correctly windows might create a additional partition for your system that will be backup of 100 megabyte you say yes okay let's do it okay now as you see it's make 100 megabyte one system reserve and you have your second partition 74 as usual so it doesn't matter choose the new partition as just you create and you have to click next here is the process is start that's all the information we we need right now your computer will restart several times during the installation the first option is copying windows file the second option is expanding windows file the third option installing fixtures the fourth option installing updates and fifth option completing installation and as you see here the percentage the first one is collecting information this process will depend on your ram how much ram you have and the processor speed this netbook has 2 giga ram and processor is intel atom 1.6 gigahertz as far as i know so it could take 10 minutes i think 10 to 20 minutes if you have 1 giga ram it could be more as you see the window needs to restart to continue and in 4 seconds Two, three, one. It will restart. Every time when it's restart, it will ask you press any key to boot from CD or DVD. But you should not do nothing. You just have to wait. Don't click nothing now it's asked me the name which name I should have to give to this PC and you have to put one name so I will put user the PC will be user PC I have to click next siguiente after that if you want to put some password for your account you can put if you don't want it's not important you have to click next siguiente here it asks you the license of the window and the product code if you don't have if you have unlegal window and you want to crack that later you don't need to put nothing Microsoft will give you for one month this window after that if you want you can buy the license or you have another way to okay whatever I will not put the license and you selected the second option that means I will upgrade or I will activate the window later I will click next here is three option use the configuration recommended the first op option is selected or I have to click the first option I always choose this one and I will click my location my time zone is bonus hours here is the bonus hours minus three GMT from GMT is minus 3 I have two internet I have to connect to the internet the first one is the fiber tail and I have to put the password after putting the password I have to click next as you see 
and after this this screen will come which type of network you have your public network or you have home network I will put this one public network when you are doing installation better connect your power cable with the netbook or notebook because if you don't have the battery or it stop at the middle it could be dangerous okay now is bring me to this skin as you see i already have the desktop as you see is all done in my wifi is working too and the battery meter all is fine maybe the resolution is not so much brilliant at this moment when you upgrade your window all will be fine you have to do one update so i can go to the internet for check the browser is working properly or not and as you see msn page so this is all thank you so much for watching this video if you have any question or if you face any difficulty leave me as a comment i will try to answer you as much fast as possible as always for more information go to the rs communication www.rscommunication.com